Hello and welcome to SDM Tech Forum. Today in this video we are going to talk about digital certificate and try to understand uh, more details about it. So let's look at what is in agenda. What is digital certificate? Types of certificate? Why digital certificate? What goes inside the certificate? And finally I'm going to show you a walkthrough of SDN Tech Forum's SSL certificate. So let's get started. What is a digital certificate? As a user, uh, you when you open a website, uh, a secure website, like you are, want to do some financial transaction or bank website, right? You uh, generally look for a padlock icon and HTTPS and that gives you a lot of peace of mind. But uh, what goes behind the scene is a certificate. What this digital certificate does is it makes an association between an identity and a private key. It contains public information about that website. It has a validity period and is signed by a trusted third party, which we call certificate authority. Identity may have been vetted by registration authority. And again, it's like a, your domain name provider or certificate uh, authority. So what are different types of certificate? The first type of certificate or very basic certificate is DV certificate. And as you can see, the picture is obscure. Like you cannot tell what is behind this, right? So that's a domain validated certificate. It is a least identity validated SSL certificate. Can be obtained quickly, easily, sometime for free. And it can be claimed even by a malicious uh, entity like a bot. To obtain a DV certificate, a website owner only verifies domain ownership via an email. And you will see when you, I'll walk you through a domain validated certificate in demo. It is suitable for blogs, personal website, basically give you encryption and little bit of trust that this is a secure website, but not at all ideal for any transaction based um, uh, services. The second type of certificate is organizational validated certificate and here you can see the picture is somewhat clear right we can say that there is a tux, uh, Linux icon behind it so organization validated certificate are authenticated with certain validation checks by CA here in case nine validation checks and is considered as a mid-level business certificate with OD, OV certificate CA authenticate domain ownership similar to DV certificate but what distinguish OV from DV is the steps taken by CA to authenticate that business organization affiliated with the certificate is valid and remain good standing. So basically CA does a lot of due diligence and that's why this certificates are paid certificate hard to get. Be, uh, best used to on this website and pages like login screen and business website. And then final class of certificate or type of certificate is EV certificate or extended validated certificate and here you can see the picture is very clear right so you can say that who is behind that what is the organization behind that certificate extended validation certificate provide a highest level of brand identity security and are authenticated with higher number of validation checks 16 in this case when you look beyond the lock on an EV certificate you will immediately find all the details about the company or the parent company that own this certificate. And this is a very good uh, certificate for big companies, MNCs, e-commerce site and enterprises. Now let's talk about uh, in general term uh, how this certificate serves the purpose, like why certificate. So basically uh, just looking at the padlock icon whenever you open a certain uh, website just looking at the padlock icon is not sufficient because the padlock icon all it tells you that the website has a certificate and it provide you encryption but then as you have seen there are multiple type of certificate dv certificate ov certificate ev certificate so you don't know what certificate is sitting behind that padlock icon mm -hmm. unless you double click on it and uh, try to dig deep right so padlock doesn't make it is fully secure so now let's see what is inside a certificate a certificate generally it's a x509 version 3 nowadays 
and when you look at uh, a certificate or open a certificate these are the most prominent prominent field you will find inside the certificate so there is a version field there is a serial number uniquely identified certificate and also used for revocation so ca issue the certificate with a serial number and when it want to pull back or recall it it can use the same serial number for revocation issuer who's the certificate authority who issued this certificate then validation period right how long it is valid subject owner's name public key info and then there's certain extension field right so since you have seen there are different categories of certificate so obviously extent extension field give you that flexibility to add more details and within extension field the one very important is sand list or subject alternate list one certificate can cover multiple subdomain or multiple domains you, uh, if uh, using sand list then you have signature algorithm digital signatures right all those information available there a public key certificate is uh, issued to uh, used to associate a public key with the owner the certificate is a data structure that bind public key to the name subject right so i'll let you uh, read this basically all this information uh, help uh, ca establish that this certificate belongs to the right owner or the person who claims to be the owner and this is the end of the slideshow so now let's go to our demo right okay all the certificates are loaded in your browser okay so let's first look at what are the certificate trusted by browser and then we will go to sgn tech forum demo on firefox you can find your uh, certificate browser certificate under preferences and privacy here i have it open so it's my your certificate if you want to import any particular certificate you can import it right and if you want to see the default what is trusted by firefox i have to come here and here you can see it's a huge long list of cas and they are all root ca and then root ca has multiple hierarchy so you have intermediary ca and then the servers so that's why uh, all you see here they are root ca but there is root ca trust tons of other domain which is not listed here okay and also if you have something missing you can import so this is where you can see your browser um, certificate so basically when your browser reach out to um, a banking website and when banking website present a certificate it go and check that okay this banking website certificate is signed by digicert do i or very sign do i trust digicert or very sign and then it go to this place and try to find if i have those uh, root ca trusted here or no and that's how it trust a certificate okay how you can actually uh, find more information about certificate so see certificates uses you know, https so when i type https and my domain name i have been presented with this padlock right uh, verified by let's encrypt let's encrypt is again a uh, certificate authority and now let's click to find details behind it right so you can see the site information person connection is secure extend this and you can see verified by let's encrypt again and if i ask for more information it is going to present the more information about security my certificate so we are interested in security tab you can see this is my website website owner does not supply any ownership information okay and then verified by uh, ca let's encrypt it expire on july 8 something okay then these are my technical details like my connection encryption and other information which we discussed like uh, x509 v3 the certificate has this information that's why you see the technical details here now I, what i can do i can click on view certificate and what this view certificate does it's give me a very uh, detailed list of certificate earlier was a very high level but now it's very detailed so you can see my common name cn is a mail sgn tech forum and issues detail validity different uh, san uh, subdomains which are the sub, uh, trusted subdomain my public key 
what algorithm I am going to use uh, for encryption and um, the thing what I want to show you here is what kind of certificate it is like we discussed right certificate policy value domain validated certificate and it is a DV certificate and that as we discussed right the DV certificates are easy to uh, request if you can prove your uh, domain ownership and since I'm a domain I can request and I CA can grant me that certificate and so this is what you have to see it's a domain validated certificate and all other details right so this is a nice tool from DigiCert and if you can you can see the same information uh, by coming here so if I type my domain name and I will say that check server it gives me all the details about this website related to the uh, certificate so you can see it is uh, DNS is resolved what is my TLS certificate key length and other things and if I have any vulnerability here what is the expiry so expiry date is there certificate details are here and then if I have any um, vulnerability third bullet vulnerability is uh, I think that's because TLS v version 1.2 and my domain support TLS version 1.3 if you are not familiar with TLS watch my video uh, dedicated for a TLS protocol so this is how you can actually dig uh, certificate details about any organization. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, I hope uh, now you are more uh, informed about uh, different certificate, what role this certificate plays and how to check whether it's a trusted uh, certificate. All the certificates are trusted, but what level of trust is there uh, within that certificate right so now you can see if it is an EV certificate or a DV certificate you know how to deal with that and how to find that information